Shoo! What's going on, folks? Welcome back to another episode. Hopefully, you guys are having a fantastic day. Before we jump into today's video, I gotta say huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. Raycon is disrupting the electronics industry by designing premium wireless audio for half the price without compromise. They're doing things differently than any other brands out there from the way they design their products to the way that they price them. Raycon prioritizes their customer experience from start to finish. Raycon offers their wireless earbuds in a range of fun colors and patterns with a variety of fit options and no dangling wires or stems. Raycon earbuds give you six hours of playtime, seamless Bluetooth pairing, more bass, and a more compact design for a more comfortable noise isolating fit. Now, if you guys are trying to take a break from screen time, whether it's your phone, computer, TV, laptop, it doesn't matter, tablet. If you guys are trying to get away from the screen time but don't want to be completely unplugged, Raycon is the best way to bring the content that you guys enjoy with you while you're on the go. The company was founded by Ray J and celebrities like Mike Tyson, Rich the Kid, and Snoop Dogg are absolutely obsessed with these Raycon earbuds. One of the best things about these Raycon earbuds is there is a 45 day free return policy. So if you guys at home want to check these out, they will be linked down below. Go to buyraycon.com slash flare to get 15% off your own pair of Raycon earbuds. I absolutely love wearing my Raycon earbuds. You take them out of the charging pack here. You pop them in. They're not going to fall out. They don't hurt your ears. I've tried other earbuds on the market. These are by far the most comfortable, super long battery life. I love putting them in, doing chores like shoveling snow, taking care of the lawn, outdoor stuff like that. You guys already know I live out in the middle of nowhere. There's a constant thing to do. There's always chores to be doing. This is the best way to do it. You pop them in, you put on a podcast, your favorite music, whatever it might be, and you can actually enjoy the chores that you're doing. So with that being said, click the link down below. Get 15% off your own pair by going to buyraycon.com slash flare. Huge shout out to Raycon for sponsoring today's video. It is brands like them that I partner up with that allows me to do what I do every single day, which is make videos for you guys. So get yourself a pair if you guys enjoy podcasts podcast, music, whatever it might be, even listening to YouTube videos. If you don't have time to put a screen in front of you, pop it in, listen, do yourself a favor, click the link down below and enjoy the rest of today's video. Shoo! Welcome back, folks, to another episode. Come on, dogs. Come on, come on. You got it. Yeah, you got it. Good job. Welcome back, folks. Hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day. So starting the day off, you know, we got to feed these guys. So we are going to feed everybody, get them taken care of for the day. You guys already kind of know the drill, so enjoy. Get that grain, buddy. You want that grain? What's that? What are you doing? Hey, you got your own bin. You can eat from the bin, buddy. Over here, come on. Come on, come on. Come here, llama. Over here, come on, come on. Yep, 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 there you go. Boom! And they're fed, folks. Today's video is gonna be a little bit interesting. It is a chilly one out here. We've got a special guest. Now, you guys probably know who it is based off the title, um, but he basically texts me and he's like, hey, I'm gonna be swinging by. I'm in town. You wanna hang out? I'm like, let's do it. So, Granger Smith is coming to the farm today. He's bringing his giant tour bus, and he's got, I believe he's got his brothers with him and some a few other people that you guys will see here soon. They should be here in like 10 minutes. Um, so we're feeding these animals. I'm sure they're going to want to come down and, and see the animals, but we want to make sure they've got some grain in their tummy so they're not angry, they're chill and calm and whatnot. But today's episode is going to be very special because Granger's coming. We're going to come hang out. Now, what do you do when it's cold out? So, I mean, it is like 20 degrees right now. You can't really ice fish. It's too sketchy of ice. There's nothing to hunt. There's nothing to trap. There's not much to do. So what do you do when it's too cold to do anything else? You shoot guns. You guys stay tuned. Chungus! We almost forgot about you, my guy. What up, buddy? Big Chungy, how you doing? How's Big Chungy doing? I better not drop this out. Oh, oh, oh Millie, hey, Millie, Millie, Millie. Okay, we'll put you back. All right, well, we're here to give Chungus some grain. All right, here you go, buddy. Boom! There you go, Chungus. Well, Chungus is fed. Zach's on water duty. He's getting that water filled up. Um, like I said, it should be pretty quick here. They're going to be bringing a tour bus down here, which is going to be insane. I don't. I mean, on top of just me living in the middle of nowhere and the roads being kind of sketchy, it also has been snowing. So everything's iced up. It's snowy. There's a chance that the tour bus is going to get stuck. I know he went to Kentucky Ballistics House and got it stuck there. So I'm hoping not to repeat the same thing um, and have it get stuck out here. But there is a good chance that it will get stuck. But we have a surprise. It's something that I've never tried before, which is, we'll show you, I guess, I'm not going to quite say it yet. I mean, you guys know it by the title, but I'll show you guys up at the house. We've got all the pews laid out and stuff like that, um, ready to rock and roll for the day. And we're going to show you something. I bought two new pews that I've never, I've seen one guy on YouTube shoot them, which is what made me go buy them. But I've never, you've I've never. never heard of them. No, I didn't know they were a thing. Also, I think we need to get a tour bus. 
I that's that's a good investment for you. I'm not sure if that is a good investment <laughs> or not. Banjo and I on tour, I'm not quite sure. But I, unless you learn how to play the banjo, I'm out. I did see somebody on YouTube shooting this, and I was like, there's just no way. There's no way. So I looked it into a little bit more and ended up ordering two of them. So that's going to be today's video is testing those guys out. And like I said, Granger's going to come hang out, show them the farm, show them around, hopefully shoot some pews. I brought you a present. A big eggplant guy. Yeah, take a bite of that. See, I'm normally all about just weird things, but I don't even know if I could do it. What is that? A squash? You know what this is? Come squash. A spaghetti squash. Yeah, see, a squash. Yeah, I was pretty close, yeah. So, anyways, we got a bunch of stuff to shoot. Today's objective, we got fruits, we got sodas. You know what that is? We got papaya. Yep. Hey, look at me, I'm, You're I'm, good. that's a squash. Yeah, what kind? Butternut. Yeah. Dick, yeah. I know my veggies, right, my guy. I bet you won't get this one. Ooh. Guarantee you won't. I had no clue. Can you tell me what it, it starts with? Or did that give it away? An L. No idea then. A bulk lemon. A bulk? Yeah. Like it's swole? I don't know. A lemon on like, right? There's no way that's a lemon, right? It feels Dude, just like a lemon. It feels though. just like a lemon. Does it smell it like smells it? smells like a lemon. That's crazy. Why? Look how big this is. Why is this lemon so freaking big? I got two of them for you. Really? So, so we're going to see what damage the new pews do to these. And, as, you know, if they don't do a lot of damage, which I think they will, then we've got real pews that we could actually use to, you know, like we've got the AK ready. We got shot. We got all sorts of stuff. So today's going to be a fun day in the freezing cold shooting pews with Granger Smith. You guys stay tuned. Shoot! This is YouTube's worst nightmare, folks. Right here. This is a doozy for them, not for you guys. Maybe for me, potentially. Depends if they catch it. But these are the pews. We've got the A A12. It's well, it's the F12, but it's an A12 style shotgun. 12 gauge, 12 gauge, 22 9 mil, AK47, 22 mag, and then these guys right here. We've got. Pew one and pew two. So we've got kind of like a, what'd you call I mean, call it an AR style. I yeah. don't know what else exactly what this one's called. And this one's like a Tommy gun looking kind of thing as well. But these are both fully automatic weapons. Oh, it didn't even let me shoot. I was gonna let rip inside. These are both fully automatic, but there's a catch. These are BB guns, folks. Like little metal Red Rider, your first pew you ever got when you were eight years old, BB gun but they're fully automatic. I know, I didn't believe it. I didn't think they were a real thing. So, on top of having a bunch of other pews to shoot today, we've gotta to test these guys out. Now, if they, if they work, I mean, imagine squirrel hunting, right? Just, and just seeing squirrel. Is I that legal? I need to call game one before I make that. That'd be like awesome, because like, you could just miss and just keep shooting. I, I don't see why it wouldn't be legal. I mean, yeah. Unless they have a thing against fully odd, but it's a BB gun. I don't, because yeah. the air rifles are different categories True. than normal pews. True. I have to call the old warden on that one, but yeah, it's not shooting. So, so how you load these things, you got this little, it's called, it's called a speed loader. See, I used to play airsoft, so like, it all comes back. Are you a big airsoft guy? Yeah. Were you a big airsoft guy? A little, bit. a little bit. I think we should do a beef cake video. Airsoft, you think so? Yeah. Or just these. Speaking of, speaking of that, Beefcake Club is now available. You can click the join button down below. There'll be a link. If you don't see the join button, click the link and try it that way. YouTube's been kind of weird with mobile, so if you're using your phone, you can't find it, click the link and try it that way. But Beefcake Club, maybe that's a Beefcake Club member video. Maybe we do a little airsoft 1v1. I say 1v1 with these. You know, the thing is, unless if you go fully automatic, I saw how like quick they shoot. You're out of bullets in like a minute. So like basically the whole episode would be us reloading. That's like <laughs> the entire episode is literally that. So you dump them in the little speed reloader. Let's try the, S, it's an SBR BB Cal Panther or something. So this has CO2 in it, little CO2 cartridges. You take this right here and you kick it off to the side and you put your BBs right there. So this holds like 20, I think. So you kind of tilt it like that and you just, you, 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 do, you do one of these guys. All right, so let's try this one first and see how this one does. So this one's locked and loaded. Charge it, it's already on fire, good. Boom, we got the old, goggles on now i'm gonna zip up in case we get some ricochets here the way that the tar I just shoot it at an angle like this and i think it'll di it'll direct in the other way all right let's see how she does fire in the hole did you see those no i heard it hit the target once bruh it literally spit them right here oh really yeah like i don't know about the first couple shots they all just went and just like pooped out. Do you think you're out of CO2? Could be. Maybe I have to try the other one. That one sucked. That was a waste of money. It literally, so you heard the target? I thought I heard two things. Oh, there might be a couple B. Oh, you might be right. Oh yeah, it did. Oh yeah, it hit quite a, quite a few. You got one, two, three. Oh, that's wet. A few of them. I mean, you probably got about half on target. Yeah, you can see. But I, it was like the last like 10 just went, like I could have just like thrown them and I just saw them hit the snow in front of me. 
That was weird. Maybe I suck. We'll try the other one. Maybe the other one's better. All right. I think it's Tommy. Isn't this a Tommy gun? Or am I making yeah. this up? Yeah, Tommy gun. It's a, well, it's an M1A1, okay, technically. So these things have full auto and single fire. So we could always try single fire too, but that's not as much fun. So we should have like a three round burst. Fire in the hole. Why is this so big? You see this? How oh, yeah. extended my, look, I can't even extend my arms very far. All right, you ready? I think that hit a lot more. You could hear the difference in the CO2 when it went out. I think this one did a lot better than the other one. I didn't see any of the BBs, uh, like, just spit out of the barrel. Oh, God, yeah. Oh, cheese and rice. Might have been shooting a little low. Look at all the hits. Dude, this thing's lethal. Squirrels are in danger now, I think. This is, this, they're gonna be in trouble with this sucker. Do you think it's got much power? I feel like it's just a weak thing now. I don't know, let me shoot you. Really? Let's go reload it. I kinda wanna try single fire now, just see like, if you go pew, ting, pew, ting, how it works, you know? Yeah. But, I mean, you guys see all many hits. There's, it, it did pretty well, so let's go get it and reload. All right, we're back out here. We got single fire. Let's see if this is any better. It's hitting every time. That's like your gun. You put it on single fire and it just gets after it. <laughs> it's what it is, I think, is it's like the last five or six bullets, the CO2 just like poops its pants and it just like throws them all out there. I'm not impressed with this one. I can't remember which one was more expensive. They were both like 200 bucks, which is kind of crazy. Cause like with $400, you could buy like basically almost like a real AR-15. I'm not super impressed with this one yet. I mean, I could, I'll try changing the CO2. Maybe that'll work, but let's try this guy. I mean, for the first few, it was working, but then I noticed like, like I'm aiming at the target and I can see it hitting the grass behind it. Like it's, it's not that powerful. This guy feels a little bit better put together. I think I should shoot like this. Yeah. I missed. every time this one's a beast dude and then it's like oh the squirrel's on the run done i like this thing. that one not impressed with this one hit every single bullet and i notice when it goes on full auto it doesn't do the like freak out thing so far so good well we're waiting on granger i think let's see if he texts me 1.5 miles out he says so he should be here soon you guys stay tuned i think i hear the bus boys oh god there's a freaking bus here <laughs> I can't believe you pulled down. I was gonna have him park on the road. He's ballsier than me. Hey, he said, hey guy, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna park the bus in the front of the driveway. Oh my God, this is hilarious. What's up? Dude, that's massive. I can't believe you just brought it down. What's up, man? How are you? What's up, dude? Nice to meet you. Good to finally be here. Dude, look at this. <laughs> look at this thing. It's massive, bro. Dude, this thing is huge, bro. Wow. Llama, Steve the Alpaca. Rick, Jerry, Dale, Milk and Toast, Carol the Cow, Carlos the Horse. Shoo! All right, folks. Well, you ready to rock and roll? It's going to be good. Yeah, well, I mean, for those of you guys that don't know, I've already hyped it up, but this is Granger, okay? Right. Welcome to the farm. Dude, this place is amazing. We gave, we gave him a tour, okay? So he, he had to go see Ralph and went around, saw the cab and the pond and stuff. But yeah. this is the, the, the toy table, you call it, I guess. This, I, is, this, is, this right. is what I, I rolled out. I was like, you know, I don't... What do you do when it's so cold? I mean, you can see your breath here in the shop, but the only thing you can really do is, sh is shoot guns. So yes. I told you about this. So this yes. is a fully automatic BB gun. Love it. Have you ever shot one before? I, this first time. Yeah. So I've never shot one. I shot one this morning just to make sure you it worked. Cheated a little I bit. cheated a little bit. I will say. <laughs> I had to make sure it worked. I don't want to let you down, okay? But I figured I'm like, okay, we have a bunch of real guns here, but we had to try these out. So we've got two yeah. liters, fruits, all sorts of stuff to shoot. And we're gonna see, we're gonna Did see you how it shoot works. Fruit I haven't shot anything with okay. it. I shot a steel target. Okay. So I don't even know if it'll go through fruit. I have Good. no idea. Good. We get to see that yes. together. Okay, yes. Yes. So first up, we've got a two liter of what is is this? What what is it? Sam's Cola. A banjo was on grocery duty. He got he got some off brand Coke. Okay. So. You, I don't know if it's gonna go through that or not, but so the thing it has. Yeah, I don't know. It's pretty thick. You know? It has semi-automatic too, so you could just take one shot here and there to see if you could hit it, or you could just, okay. you could just have at it. Okay. So we we shot the steel target just to make sure everything worked, and, and and so far so good. But we'll see if it goes through the two liter. Safety first. We don't need we don't need you out there singing with an eye patch on. Look? You look good. Yeah, you look. Yeah, you ready to hit the slope? You got Riley glasses on. We're ready. Kind of feel like I'm skiing. Kind of <laughs> feel like I'm shooting. You got it on on just single burst. I. 
lot of that. Okay, you go, go ahead, give it full then. Okay. Let's see it. I'll, let me go see. Okay. <laughs> we just gotta make sure if it bounces off, we don't need 20 of them coming right. back, you know? <laughs> Rev! It, it definitely bounced off! <laughs> what the heck? You gotta be kidding me. No, it didn't. Did it bounce? Right there. You're kidding me. This is the biggest <laughs> letdown ever. It wouldn't even go through the two liter. Do you think do you, it'd go? Do you think multiple rounds for it? I don't. Oh, the same spot. Maybe. You might have to be a little closer. Do you think we need to try, try some cans? We have fruit. Yeah, let's do cans. You want some cans? All right, I'll go get. I'll get some cans. Let's see. <laughs> what? Wow. Okay, Amazon. You don't have it figured out with the BB gun strat. I, it wouldn't even go. There's no way it's gonna kill a squirrel if it don't even go through a two liter. Absolutely unreal. Well, I'm gonna run inside. We're gonna try some cans. I saw. I saw someone on YouTube shooting cans and all sorts of stuff and exploding it. It literally just bounced off the two liter. Such a letdown. All right, folks. We got cans now. Okay, we got them lined up. Now we're we're not messing around now. No. If it don't go through these, we just gotta go straight to the AK-47. I think. <laughs> the, the, the BB gun just isn't the deal. Yeah. Such a letdown. Yeah. I, I had so such high hopes for this, but it might go through the cans. If it can't go through a can, then what is the purpose of it? That's what I'm saying. There you go. Yeah. Unless you just play like one v one, like it's like paintball, but with BB guns. Right. You could do that. You can. Yeah. I don't want to do that. Anyways, all right. Let's see if it goes through. You going full auto now, or, or what do you think? Right now? Just Absolutely. Go for it. Just go for it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, just go for it. Okay, let's go for it. All right. At least it went through it. it. That's about how I expected it to work with the two liter. Yeah. I went right through them. Yeah, that's better than nothing, cool. I guess. It's cool. It's not as cool as like a real gun. All right, so you're going, you're going full auto two liter. One came back right here. <laughs> oh, nice eye. Literally one I literally went right past my head and I saw it land. Nothing? I was a little low. Oh yeah. But it just didn't go through. It's too tough. Yeah. They're, they're, they're weaklings. I think we I think we might need to step it up a little bit. 12 gauges. AK-47. That's a 22 mag, Henry. 9 mil and 6.5. I think the 22 mag. Ooh, the old Henry. Keep slowly going up. There you go, okay. We're, we're, like we're stepping up a little bit for the old 22 mag. Yeah. The automatic BB gun wasn't quite enough for you. So now you've got the 22 mag Henry. One That's one, one of my favorite all time guns. I love this step thing. at a time. Yeah. Cola, the Sam's Cola, Sam. they've been just like bothering us. Yeah, it's, it's, it's taking quite a beating. I think it's time for it to go, yeah. My God, that was way more yeah. powerful than I expected. I didn't think it was gonna do. I thought it was just gonna put a hole through it. Wow. Okay, I think they caught everyone else off guard as well. <laughs> I, love I was guy. not expecting that. Absolutely it. destroyed. I forgot how fun that gun is. That is such that a fun, fun gun to shoot. It's just so much more powerful than a normal 22. I think you got to go whipped cream. Wow. Yeah. That just. It just disintegrated it. Blew a hole right through it. <laughs> so, if in doubt, BB versus 22. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'd say there the old go. Henry's got it. I'd say try that. Last time we shot those, I had a pretty good reaction to okay. it. So, up next is the whipped cream. Look at that. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> the old whipped cream is my favorite. Look at that. Just hey, destroyed. It came yeah. right back at us. Perfectly wow. good ready whip though, rip. <laughs> rip. Unfortunate, but man, <laughs> tastes like victory, huh? Yeah. Better, better than the old BB guns. <laughs> oh man, that thing just absolutely disintegrated. I love it. I absolutely love shooting the, the whipped cream. We found that out in a previous video. It just has the best explosion. But I think 22 mags, it's decent, but I, I'm thinking we need a little We're bit more firepower. Up. We gotta step it up a little okay. bit. All right, retiring the Henry, okay. it's an old gem. So you've got 12 gauge, 9 mil, or AK-47. What do you, what do you, what's your heart telling you right now? <laughs> As if it, whatever it is isn't going to go through it, uh -huh. but you know. I think uh, it's either going to be the 9 mil or the AK. The 9, I would say, I say we start with the AK, and then we can save, okay. we can save the AKV okay. for okay. last. For last. Yes. We know what a 12 gauge is going to do. Yeah, it's just going to pulverize the we whole thing. We got some apples we'll throw in the air. Like oh yeah, true. True. Like apples and like grapes. Yes, we, we've got some throwables. You guys know the throw. Eggs. Eggs is a really good one as well. So we're going to the AK-47. We're stepping it up now, baby. We got the AK-47. Big mamma jamma. I'm hoping it cycles. That thing's been kind of, it's been through a lot, I think. But I think it's going to do good, though. Have you peed on it? I have not. No. Is that what you're supposed to do? Well, I, the, uh, like the Taliban, when they get too hot, they'll literally just pee on them. Really? To cool them down. Yeah. So evidently, Seriously? Evidently in the Middle East they really stink. Okay, I have not 
You hear that? No. If it gets too hot, you just pee on it. Yeah. So save up in case, right. start, in case it in case it overheats. I mean, sure. All right, fire in the hole, boy. I think you're racked. Right, right through, through it. it. Wow. <laughs> Serious. I did not expect that at all. I didn't either. <laughs> it, didn't, it didn't even move. It just bored a hole right in it. That's unbelievable. Who would know? An AK versus eggplant. Yeah, it didn't even. Knock Dude, the that's a clean hole. It's literally just a clean. I bet the X is. I mean, oh, the X is not even that big. Yeah, it's it's so wow. dead. That's a dead eggplant, I would say. Yeah. Yeah. I say you just. You just have at it. Just go down the line. Just, just, yeah, just go down the line. Spray and pray, baby. Let's go. <laughs> it's gone. You cleared the whole table. Andrew, just hear that? Whoa. <laughs> shrapnel. <laughs> we had little shrapnel come out. Oh my gosh. That literally, that land over there? Yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh. This is dang. How's that? That tastes good. pretty good. Yeah. Sugar free. Wow. Dude, cleared the table. I mean, talk about an explode. Look at this. Completely got look at all the bullets. You can see it skimmed through. That's hilarious. I mean it shot them all the way over here <laughs> Absolutely yeah, unbelievable literally cut it in half. Yeah slice the pineapple. Who needs a knife nowadays? The AK has got some power I will it's say power, it's yeah. got some power, but we do have well w one more pew besides the shotgun and that is your AK Yeah, it's AK V accurate no, but world, yeah, if we can but, get it to burst, yeah, I think we can do some damage with yeah. it. So let's see if we can make it happen. So you've got the AKV, known as the burst gun. Yeah, something like that. So we're <laughs> gonna see. We'll see what happens. If you just if you just slowly single fire it, you might may or may not get like a three round burst randomly. It surprises you. It's kind of like Christmas. Every time you shoot it, it just it surprises you. He's <laughs> holding that fruit. Two. Did you see the burst? That was two. Yeah, you got the burst on that one. Yeah. There you go. There you go. There you go. You got a couple more. We're out. We're out. A little bit. It, was, it wasn't as, as good as, as in usual, the past. But. Yeah, in the past we can get it to go like five or six, yeah. but hey, it was still, still detrimental. Fun to the fruit game. The fruit did not stand a chance here. Look at this, just pulverized. Look, rip, this is a lemon. <laughs> it's a bulk lemon. A that bulk don't look like a lemon. That's, yeah. That ain't a lemon. I was like, am I missing Dude. that? <laughs> right through it, the fruit. Smell it. Does that not smell, it like, a smell like a lemon? It doesn't look like a lemon. That's hot. We got shotguns left. That is the only thing. We, we've completely pulverized the fruit and energy drink game here. But we, we, have, eggs, we have eggs and apples and fruit fruit to shoot with shotguns, so you guys stay tuned. All right, shotgun session here, folks. So you've never shot, well, I guess you could take a practice shot with that thing. I it's probably should, right? Oh, you hit it, the first run. <laughs> All right. That was impressive, okay. The eggs are really tough, especially with that gun. Oh! Oh, there you go. Yeah! Yeah! <laughs> oh, we're out. So close. The eggs were the best performing, though, for bad. sure. I only got one shell, so. Right, better not miss. Yeah. So how disappointing were those BB guns? <laughs> I, okay. They weren't. They weren't that exciting. When I first got here, I was like, all right, I'm going to Amazon on the way. Yeah, home. yeah, yeah, and yeah. Then we shot them. It was like, yeah, they're just. It's such a letdown. I know yeah. it's unfortunate. You'll have to come back when it's warmer and we can do some other cool things because we were kind of limited today. It was it was cold yeah. outside. We, we we did shoot some other guns, which was fun. Uh, the BB guns were definitely a letdown. But you had a good time. You met Ralph, and you shot Ralph, some guns. Saw the off the grid cabin, yes. which is amazing. Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And and I want to I want to fish in your pond. Yes. So when, it when it when it thaws out, we got it. There's not there's a couple big ones. We caught some big fish, but you're down in Texas, which is which yeah. is known for big giant fish. So you do you have any ponds that you guys have fish in that you we fish? We have two ponds on our farm that are that went completely dry this year. Oh, uh, yep. Yep. So we have to start completely over. In fact. If anyone knows, uh, we need we need to redo both ponds. Okay, so where you're located, which direction from Central Dallas? Central Texas, just north of Austin. Just north of Austin. Yeah. So if anyone down there knows how to, f you got to fix it, you got to flood it. What are you trying to do? It. We have to probably make it bigger. Gotcha. So just pun creation pun in general. Help him out. Yeah. And uh, he'll be linked down in the description down below if you guys want to go check out his channel. But if you guys are in that area just north of Austin and can help him build some ponds, I would offer my help. But you guys have seen my pond building skills. <laughs> not that good. And I'm definitely not going to go try it down in 
Texas. So, yeah. thanks for coming, dude. Appreciate nice you. you. Appreciate you, man. We had a good time. Tried the BB guns. Eh, let me know what you guys think. We, we could probably come up with some other things to do with them. But we ended up just shooting cans and fruits with AK-40. It was a good time. It was a great day. You know, beautiful out here. It's like 20 freaking degrees. All the boys from Texas are freezing in there. Uh, but they had a good time. They brought the giant tour bus. Absolutely unbelievable. They, I can't believe they just brought this thing down here. So, anyways, huge shout out to Grant for coming down his entire career. Like I said, he'll be linked down below. He's got a YouTube channel. He's actually building a house right now, um, kind of like, like just out in the middle of nowhere. And he's kind of doing the farming, the homestead thing. So he wanted to come out and get some tips. Not that I'm an expert by any means, but he kind of want to see what it was all about. So go check him out if you guys have not already. And I really do appreciate your guys' view. Again, let me know what you guys think about the old BB guns. It's kind of, kind of a letdown for me, but it's one of those things like I had nothing else I could come up with to do and I saw it on Amazon and thought it was cool, but maybe we try a squirrel hunt. You guys let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I will really do appreciate the things you and peace. Shoo! Welcome back, folks. Going. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, right in the frick. Oh, oh shut oh, up. Oh, shut oh. up. Ducks. You think I can get him? I got Whoa! him! I got him! I got him! Why Look at this! I, oh, rip. I'm I smoked the dough. Dude, I'm absolutely sniping. We're like, hey, let's go live. How are you guys doing? And we are going to try to do some hunting.